G'day, Paul here. This is the electric rocket that I've been working on on and off for probably the last three or four months. So I was initially inspired after watching Daniel Riley's videos on YouTube. Uh, his channel's RC Test Flight, definitely check him out. And so he went through a few different design variations and so I kind of got to pick, pick the best of what worked for him and, and design my own. So drew it up in CAD, 3D printed it. The bed of my printer wasn't big enough for the size that I wanted to make it, so I've made it in four little sections here that you can see are held together around the servos with zip ties. I've got a Martek F4 a wing flight controller on board, so when I hook it up with GPS and OSD and FPV and all that good stuff, I'll uh, be able to see what my max altitude is. Got an old RCX V3, whatever the heck that is, motor. And this propeller is actually quite perfect for this build because it fits nicely in there which gives me really nice your performance well as nice as you can expect from a, a single motor verticopter um, initially during flight testing it had some huge issues in that if you would roll it past about 30 degrees it would just flip over and it was pretty much game over and you had to start again and uh, so what I've done to try and prevent that is I've, I've chucked these fins on the top so I'm not sure if that's going to help, but uh, you'll either see it fly around real nicely or you'll see it stick itself into the ground once again. So uh, let's give it a bit of a flight. It actually flies really, really, really well. I'm, I'm quite impressed. So the fin on the top has made all the difference. Before that, and I'll chuck some footage in, before that you'd roll to about here and it would just spin upside down and lawn dart into the ground. And uh, so the, the fins on top give it, moves the, the center of pressure back to where it needs to be. So uh, now what I'm gonna try and do, I'm gonna change the battery real quick and uh, we'll see if we can take it up to about 100 meters, disarm completely let it go into a full free fall and we'll see if we can pull it out of a free fall. Let's do this. I need to design a, a proper battery mount for it, but uh, for now just a, a strap and a bit of foam works quite well. And uh, so it has to sit level on something just so it can boot. So we can balance it on there. It kind of fights itself. So I've, in INAV I've gone into the custom mixer and uh, if you have a look down on the base here I've mixed it so that um, pitch forward, pitch back, roll left, roll right and um, it also has a PID loop engaged for, for all three axes. Um, one of the biggest breakthroughs to get it to fly properly was to not have straight fins but to, to curve them so that even when it's in level flight uh, it's it's got some some yaw cancelling out the incredible amount of torque we're getting out of this prop and the other breakthrough was was this prop um, sitting down inside of the fins that, that increased the yaw performance. So yeah, let's um, punch it up to 100 metres, disarm it and uh, see what she does. <laughs> It actually got way out of shape on the way up, so these these fins work great when it's hovering, but as soon as you're not hovering it, it went crazy. So inside of INAV there's a setting called TPA, which stands for um, Throttle PID Attenuation. Basically that what that means is you can see the response here when I move the aircraft, it's quite severe, but it will decrease that uh, response based on how much throttle I'm using. So uh, for the next few flights I'm going to change that TPA, um, but for now I'm just going to see if we can do another fall out of free fall and uh, see what it does. That was pretty flipping awesome. I'm going to go higher this time. <laughs> Slowly because of that issue. Yes, 
coming. So it seems that the same issue that it was having on the way up um, where it would start to oscillate near full throttle um, came into play as soon as I was throttling up to bring it out of that free fall. It went to full throttle and suddenly the, the PID loop was, was way too overtuned for it. And uh, so yeah, it, 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 it went into some crazy circular oscillation as it was coming down and it's a bit mangled. So uh, we'll rebuild it, replace a couple of servos and uh, give it another go with a, a TPA set and see what that does. Alrighty, so time for a rebuild. Got plenty of time as it seems the whole world's quarantined at the moment. Uh, yeah, until next time. <laughs>